Let us see about three phase half wave uncontrolled rectifier which is also called as three pulse diode rectifier. In three phase half wave rectifier you have three phases VA, VB and VC. This is a neutral ring which can provide an um, return path for the current and it is a half wave rectifier. So one diode is enough in each phase. So it has totally three diodes. In this structure, the cathode of each diode are connected together. So it is called a common cathode arrangement. It can be connected in other way also, which is called a common anode arrangement in which the anode of the diodes are connected together. We will be seeing about common cathode arrangement in this video. In common cathode arrangement, we have seen that all the cathodes are connected together. Now, we have a doubt which diode will conduct first because each diode is connected to different phases of the supply voltage. So at any time only one diode can conduct but which diode will conduct depend upon the instantaneous voltage of each phase. Suppose this is connected uh, to 10 volts and this one to some 5 volts and this one to some 2 volts. So the diode which is connected to the highest voltage in this case it is 10 volts which is uh, connected to supply voltage VA will conduct first. Suppose if you have uh, 10 volts here and 5 volts here VB will conduct. So the diode connected to the highest voltage will conduct in common cathode arrangement whereas in case of a common anode arrangement the diode connected to the lowest voltage will conduct. Let us see about the uh, voltage equations. Va is equal to Vm sin omega t. Vb is Vm sin omega t minus 120 degree and Vc is Vm sin omega t minus 240 degree or you can write it as plus 120. So each phase uh, differs by 120 degree. Now you have three diodes and the total uh, cycle is 360 degree. So 360 divided by number of diodes uh, is equal to 120 degree. So each diode will conduct for 120 degrees. Now let us draw the uh, three phase waveform. So VA is equal to Vm sin omega t. So draw the v, v, uh, VA waveform. So it starts at 0. At 180 it will be again 0, 360 it will be again 0 and it have a uh, maximum peak, positive peak at um, 90 degree and negative peak at 270 degree. So only if you know to draw this sine waveform correctly you can draw the remaining waveforms. So VA we have completed, let us draw VB. VB is lagging by 120 degree. So take 120 degree here. It is 120 degree. You simply shift this waveform here. Or this is the reference for VB. So your waveform should start at 120. So this is VB waveform. So now you complete this sequence. So this part should come here. So draw this and complete the waveform. Now let us draw VC. VC is lagging by 240 degree. So where is 240? It is here. So draw VC waveform. So we have drawn the phase voltages. Now let us find which diode conducts for which period. Now 
for three phase circuit always start from 30 degree it will be easy to draw the waveform okay so let me take 30 as reference you see here at 30 degrees red color waveform which is va has the highest value till 150 degree this red color waveform is highest value after that it starts to decrease so after 150 this vb waveform has the highest value and after 270 vc has the highest value similarly if you see 0 to 30 degree this blue waveform which is vc has the highest value so we know that diode with the highest value will conduct first so if you take 30 as reference this point d1 will conduct first so during this period 30 to 150 where red line that is va is highest d1 will conduct if you see this time period it will be 120 degree that is 150 minus 30 that is 120 so d1 conducts for 120 degree next d2 will start conduction here because at this point vb is more positive so it will conduct for another 120 degree or till this point so at this point vc starts conduction so d3 will be on so till 360 and uh, remaining part you bring it here so d3 is here So if you see the devices D1, D2, D3, D1 starts at 30 degree. So ending period you add 120 you will get 150 or you can see the waveform and draw this one. Okay. So D2 150 plus 120 270. So this is 270 plus 120 it will give you 390 degrees. Next, how to draw the output voltage waveform? So, I have taken R load. Okay. So, in case of R load, first draw this one. Okay. You draw this same waveform um, in a thin line. Now, D1 starts at 30 degree and um, ends at 150 degree. So, your output voltage waveform should be VA. Uh, simply draw this, draw over this one. This is your output voltage waveform. Next, D2 conducts. So, VB waveform. Follow VB waveform. Again, at this point, D3 conducts. That is, follow the VC waveform. So, this is the output voltage of the three-phase rectifier. So, only this upper portion will be the output voltage of a half-way rectifier with R load. So, this is called as a three pulse rectifier because in one cycle, that is if you see 30 to 390, in this one cycle, you are getting only three pulses. So, it is called a three pulse diode rectifier. Now, let us find the average voltage. So, V average is equal to v naught into d of omega t what is the time interval 30 to 150 you are getting one pulse so multiply by 3 because you are getting totally three pulses this interval is for one pulse so multiplying by 3 to get for three pulses so 
integrate sin omega t you will get minus cos omega t apply the limits so cos 150 is minus root 3 by 2 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 you substitute all those things you will get this as the output average voltage So the points to remember here are three phase half way rectifier uses three diodes. Uh, there are two configurations common cathode and common anode. Always uh, in common cathode arrangement diode with highest instantaneous voltage conducts first. It is also called a three pulse rectifier because it produces three pulses in one half one cycle and each diode conducts for 120 degree. These are some of the references. If you like the video, do subscribe to Read Electric Vehicle channel. Thank you.